Personally, I think one of the biggest reasons why the gaming community is so divided between consoles versus PC is because of the controller. Some people say PCs are superior simply because of the keyboard and mouse. So what if there was something to bring the keyboard and mouse to consoles? Would that ease the tension in the gaming world? Let's see what the Keymander can do. WD Purple Storage offers all frame technology built for always on HD surveillance security systems. So this is the IO Gear Keymander. The box advertises that it works with the PS3, Xbox One and the 360. But in today's episode, I will be specifically testing it out on the PS4 just because there was a new firmware update available so that you can actually use the Keymander on the PS4. So in the box, you'll find two mini USB cables, a bunch of documentation, a CD for those of you who still like using CDs, and finally the Keymander itself. So while I was actually researching for this episode, it turns out that setup for the PS4 isn't that well documented. So let me just quickly go over what I had to do to get me gaming with a keyboard and mouse on a PS4. So first off, you'll want to download the latest software and firmware for the Keymander from IO Gear. Now this might seem like common sense, but some people out there don't actually bother. But in this case, it is a must since IO Gear recently added PS4 support. Now once the downloads finish, simply unzip or extract them to somewhere you'll remember open up the software, it's the one with the SW in the title, and you should see this screen. Now plug in both USB cables into the PC and power port on the Keymander to your computer directly. Make sure you're not using any USB hubs or keyboard USB hubs. I had to learn that the hard way after spending 30 minutes troubleshooting, but that's a different story. The Keymander should detect and you'll want to hit the connect button. Then hit the menu button and select upgrade firmware. Here is where you might run into some problems if you're using a USB hub, but if you plugged everything directly to your computer without a hub, the firmware will update just fine. From here, you can either fiddle with the keybinds or, if you're like me, jump straight into plugging in the keymander into the PS4 to play. You will want to plug in your PS4 controller, keyboard and mouse to the corresponding ports on the keymander. Don't worry, they are labeled. Then plug one of the included mini USB cables to the game port on the back of the Keymander and the other end to the first USB port on your PS4. Now power on the console and you're golden. Or at least, so I thought. Problem number two, the Keymander may not be compatible with all keyboards. To test this, hit F9 on the keyboard and if it beeps, that means it works. If it doesn't beep, you'll need a different keyboard. That's pretty much it for setup though. Now. Other than the two setbacks we experienced during setup, gaming with the Keymander is pretty straightforward. As long as you know all the keybinds, if you read through the manual, you should have no problem. The only other minor complaint I have is the latency with the mouse. Now there was some noticeable lag, but if you can live with a little bit of input lag, it will be less frustrating. Whoa, stop, hold the phone. Did he just say input lag? Yes, I did say input lag, but look, IO Gear with their Keymander, they're the only one on the market right now at the time of filming that supports not just one, not just two, but all four consoles right now. That includes PS3, PS4, Xbox One, and Xbox 360. And the proof is in the pudding. I mean, straight off the box, it just says control and emulator for use with the PS3 gaming console. And then you see a sticker that says added support for 360 and Xbox One. Not only that, on the website, they've also noted that the PS4 firmware is now also available. So it just goes to show that IO Gear is still looking out for gamers and they most likely will be addressing all those issues for your input lag from detecting different keyboards and such. So just be patient, give them a shot. That's all I'm saying. So that's pretty much it. The IO Gear Keymander does what it says it does. It lets you use keyboard and mouse on your favorite console. Now the stock keybinds are a bit weird, but you can change all of that to whatever you like. Now, if I were to have spent more time fine tuning the sensitivity, I can definitely see that the Keymander gives gamers the same experience as if they were gaming on the PC. Now, if the Keymander is something that interests you, buy one now and get a Keymander t-shirt free. That's a $20 value, but it will be for a limited time. Leave a comment down below and let us know what you think about peasant consoles using PC Master Race gaming gear. Uh, all jokes aside, PCs and gaming consoles, we're all just having fun. And as always, thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos like this from NCIX. 
We'll see you later.